Ink not flowing is a common issue across all printers, but there can only be two causes, blockage and leakage. Blockage simply means the ink cannot flow, and it does not just apply to the printhead. Many other components could be damaged or there could simply be dried ink in the system somewhere. Now, to understand leakage, let's first explain how the inkjet printing system from am.co.za works. You may often hear of a component called a pump, like circulation pumps. Because the titanium oxide in white ink characteristically settles at the bottom of the tank when it is motionless, a circulation pump forces the white ink to circulate constantly as it moves to the printhead, as well as when it doesn't move to the printhead. More complex systems, however, have stage pumps. These pumps move the ink from the main ink tanks closer to the printhead and waste pumps to pump ink from small waste tanks to bigger ones. Well, all of these pumps are ink pumps because they all pump ink. But when we only say ink pump, it specifically means the pump pulls ink out from the printhead and its objective is to keep the ink moisturized to keep it flowing, to keep it clean, and most importantly, to keep it sealed. Why is the seal so important? Because the real secret of inkjet printing from am.co.za is that the ink goes to the printhead by way of a siphoning effect. A negative pressure system kicks in when the printhead spits out inks and a vacuum is created in the tiny nozzles of the printhead. And because nature doesn't like vacuums, the rest of the ink in the nozzle will start flowing. Then the ink in the damper gets pulled into the printhead, and the ink in the tank follows. So essentially creating ink flow. Now on the other hand, liquid has surface tension, so it likes to go back, especially when the printhead is not printing, because there is no spitting force. So the pump can recreate a full liquid environment both before and inside the printhead by sucking the air out. And when the ink pump cannot perform the ink pulling action because the negative pressure balance is broken, then the problem here is leakage. In this video we take you through how to diagnose ink flow issues on your Print EXP, ATOOL and other printers system from am.co.za. From the outset, we emphasize that all am.co.za printers operate on the same system as pointed out in this video, but that machines from other manufacturers may not necessarily do so, and that we highly recommend that you buy our printers and make use of am.co.za installation services when purchasing am.co.za machinery. Okay, let's start. So you have done the automatic clean on your printer and nothing happens. There is still no ink flow. Or there is only partial ink flowing through the system. What now? The most common way of identifying that ink is flowing correctly is at the waste ink tank. Is the ink freely flowing into the waste ink tank or not? To test this, this is what you do. On A tool systems, instead of doing an auto clean with all its steps, go directly to manual pump. Now look at the waste tank and you should clearly see ink coming out of the tube. The other thing to do is to move the head away and take a look at the cap. It should clearly have ink on it. On the Print EXP systems, in Print EXP, go to Settings, then Load Ink. You may choose to only load ink from a certain printhead if your issue is limited. Now on the machine, you should see that the head is capping and that the pump then starts working. At this stage, you should see the ink flowing through the tubes. So in print EXP, press stop, then move the head away and visually inspect the caps. They should clearly have ink in them. In both these cases, the ink is flowing freely and there is ink in the cap. This is exactly what you are aiming for. So you can simply do an auto clean at this stage and you're good to go. A quick side note, bear in mind that even if the ink flow is correct, it does not necessarily mean that the printing will be correct. There may still be a malfunctioning printhead, cabling misconnection, software setting mismatch, etc. which may make the printing incorrect, incomplete or not print at all. 
but we are not going to cover that in this video. You can search am.co.za on YouTube to find other videos on those subject matters. Great, but what if there is no ink flow or no ink in the cap? Then you have a problem and you need to follow a step-by-step -step diagnostic procedure to figure out exactly why. Let's start. Question number one. Is it only one cap that does not have ink on it? Or are there more caps that don't have ink on it? If only one cap does not have ink, do not work on the head that does have ink. Focus only on the head that does not have ink in the cap. But if all the caps do not have ink in it, it could very well be that a position adjustment for the whole carriage can solve the problem. So let's address position. The carriage stopping position. When you press X reset in print EXP, the head will move to the capping station and the capping will start. A visual inspection from the front and side will tell you if the head is not quite adjusted to the capping station. The head needs to sit exactly on the capping station. Now assuming that it does need adjustment, is it off on the left and the right axis? Then you need to adjust the head stop position, where the head stops. How do we do that? In print EXP go to advanced, fill in the password and go to factory mode. Go to boot initialization settings and look at heat limit back to zero distance. This indicates where the sensor assumes the point of origin is and calls it zero in value. So you can change this value and press test action. The head will now reset over the cap. You can repeat this until the head is sitting exactly on top of the cap and when you are done and you are happy, you must press save and load. For the A-Tool system, you go to station position. Click on adjust and use the arrows to move the station position left and right and when you are happy, press OK. But you may have a situation where the ink cap cannot touch the print head at all even at the highest point, and therefore it cannot create a perfect seal. Remember the ink cap not only has to touch the printhead, it must squeeze into it by about 2 millimeters. The rubber edge on the ink cap will deform and the spring underneath the ink cap will activate and help to keep the tension. If you have previously raised the whole carriage for whatever reason, you do need to lower it back but if you do want a higher carriage position in your printing application, then you have to raise the cap by putting spaces underneath it to make it sit perfectly under the print head. Just be careful to always manually move the carriage around and make sure it does not jam before switching the power back on. And what about the front and back position? Is that off? The front and back adjustment has nothing to do with the software. It is purely physical. So move the head over to the middle and unloosen the screws on the caps without removing them. Then move the cap front and back and feel for the play quality. If there is enough play, you can adjust the caps forward and backwards here to align with the head. But if there is not enough play, you need to adjust the alignment on the head itself. All am.co.za printing machines have adjusting screws on them for this purpose. These screws here allow you to move the print head forward and backward for alignment to the cap. Now generally, you won't have this problem because am.co.za sets the machines up for you. And again, am.co.za has a dedicated installation service. But all this is good to know, right? So let's continue. We have visually aligned the left and right position and the front and back position. And yet still, there is no ink in the cap. Now what? Question 2. Is the problem below or above the head? The most common problems occur below the head. So let's start with diagnosing everything below the head. What we want to establish below the head is if the cap is working, if the pump is working and if the tubes are fine. The first thing we must do now is to create a working space by moving the head out of the way. Tell the head that it is capped even though it is out of the way. How? The correct way of doing this is to switch the machine off. Move the head away and switch back on. The caps will move front and back and left and right 
as the machine initiates and then the head will want to return to its point of origin. So just before it does, put something in between the sending and receiving sides of the photon sensor. Now the head thinks it has reached its point of origin when in fact it is well out of the way. And there you go, you've got yourself some working space. Okay good, now you can do the load ink procedure again. And with all the space you can feel if the cap is sucking, if it is weak or if it is not sucking at all. If it is weak or not sucking at all, go to the pump. Can you hear the pump working? If not, then there is your problem. But actually, it could be that you do hear it and yet it is still not sucking correctly. So feel if the tubes coming out of the pump to the cap are in place and not allowing air in. It could be that the tubes are just loose. You can also remove the sucking and blowing tubes from the pump and use your fingers to establish if the pump is sucking and blowing. If that is all fine, the next check is underneath the actual cap. Here, there are a number of tubes that come from the outlets and you must be sure that they are not blocked. The number of outlets varies depending on the machine type. Usually, if they are blocked, it is because the ink has dried in them. To detect if it is blocked or not, you can use a syringe to pull the ink through the tubes. This way you can quickly tell which tubes are clear or if there are any blockages. In the case of a blockage, you will notice lots of bubbles forming and the ink struggling to get to the syringe. That means you have located where the air is getting into the system. If all is fine, however, the next thing to consider is that some models have auxiliary outlets on the cap. They must have a stopper on them. And if it somehow came off, air will feed back into the system through them. The next thing to do is to inspect the cap itself. This rubber sealer here forms a vacuum when the head is placed onto it. So, is the rubber in working condition? If it is, it should have a good elastic bounce back action if you press it down and release. It should not be too rigid nor should it be too flimsy. If it is either, air can get through and enter the system. And they should also not have any cracks on them. At this stage, if you have done all of the above, you can take some cleaning liquid and put it onto the cap and see if it gets sucked through the cap and you can visually track its movement as it flows through the system at every stage below the cap. If the liquid is still struggling to get through, the next thing to check is the alignment between the head and the cap again. It could be slightly off, so loosen the screws on the cap, start the machine and let the head go back to the point of origin and physically move the cap around. You can clearly hear the difference of when the pump sucks air compared to when it sucks ink. Make note of where the cap position is best and lock it off in that position. It may take a few attempts before you get this just right. For large format printers, normally there is more space to work in the front area. For smaller printers, most of the time you have to do it from the side. Now, if you have done all these steps and still there is no ink flow, it is time to focus on probable causes above the cap. Starting with the most obvious, some systems include a small tap to stop the ink from getting through at the ink bottle side. Make sure that it is open. Generally, this is not the problem because am.ca.za does open it when they complete the installation, but it is worth pointing out. Next. You can use the syringe again to check that the ink is coming through to the dampers. Remove the damper, check to see if the rubber on the damper is in good condition and then make sure you hold the damper pointing upwards when you use the syringe. The ink either does come through or it does not. If it does, you're good. But if the ink does not come through, you need to start checking for obstructions. It is very rare that the problem is above the cap, but it could be that the machine has not been used for a very long time and that the ink has hardened, for example. However, it is worth pointing out that dampers often cause ink dropping problems, which means that it prints well in the beginning, but then the ink starts to fade. And solving ink dropping is a totally different subject. Again, you can search am.co.za on YouTube to find more videos like this. 
assuming that at this stage if the ink is getting through to the dampers there are no issues above the cap and seeing that you have already assessed that there are no issues under the cap then there is a very good chance that the head is damaged. To double check that it is a head issue you can syringe cleaning liquid directly into the head and see if it comes out through the bottom. If it does not come through then the head is blocked. If however the head is not blocked then in all likelihood it is a seal adjustment. So you will need to go back to the seal and revisit the adjustment procedure. Remember it could just need the slightest of adjustments to secure that it seals properly. If you have put all this to practice this far and still not yielded any results and you are probably out of your wits in desperation by this point we can also advise you on another way a messier way for sure but you probably don't care at this stage in all of the above time when trying to find a blockage or a leakage we were sucking the air but the second way of doing this is that we can also push the ink get a syringe with cleaning liquid and push it from the ink pump and see if the liquid comes back to the ink cap you can also push ink into the damper and see if ink comes out from the other side. This is especially useful if you have lots of bubbles in the damper because in all likelihood there are tiny cracks in some places that is allowing air to mix in with the ink. To wrap up this video then, the learning point for the inking system is make sure that there is no blockage and no leakage. Make sure ink can freely flow throughout the system and that no air can get into the system at any stage. Then you're all good to go. I hope this video was of help to you and remember that am.co.za provides installation as well as technical services for all am.co.za printing machines. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been the leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC routers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers, and many more. Visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montague Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp Hi to 060-600-6000 for more. am.co.za, achievement matters.